We've all been there. You're browsing the internet, eager to explore a website, only to be met with a disheartening message access denied. It's like hitting a brick wall in the digital world, a frustrating experience that can disrupt your online journey. But why do websites block access in the first place? Understanding the reasons behind these roadblocks is crucial for navigating the online world effectively. Sometimes, it's a simple matter of location. Other times, it's about security measures designed to protect both users and websites. Let's delve into the common culprits behind those pesky access denied messages. One of the most common reasons is geo restrictions. Websites often limit access based on your geographical location. This can be due to licensing agreements, legal restrictions, or even content that is tailored for specific regions. Many users turn to VPNs or virtual private networks to bypass these restrictions. VPNs can mask your location, making it appear as though you're browsing from a different country. Another reason for access denial is security protocols. Websites implement these measures to protect against malicious activities, such as hacking, spamming, or data breaches. Sometimes access is blocked because of suspicious activity detected from your IP address. This could be due to multiple failed login attempts or unusual browsing patterns. Websites also undergo maintenance and updates, during which access might be temporarily restricted. This ensures that the site remains secure and functions smoothly. Content moderation policies can also lead to access denial. Websites may block users who violate their terms of service or engage in inappropriate behavior. It's important to familiarize yourself with a website's terms of service to understand what is and isn't allowed. While encountering an access denied message can be frustrating, knowing the reasons behind it can help you navigate the situation more effectively. With a bit of patience and understanding, you can often find a way to access the content you need or find alternative resources. So the next time you hit that digital brick wall, remember, it's not the end of the road. It's just a detour on your online journey. Imagine trying to stream your favorite show while traveling abroad, only to find it's unavailable in your current location. This is a classic example of geo-blocking, where websites restrict access based on your geographical location. Content providers, like streaming services, often use geo-blocking to comply with licensing agreements and regional distribution rights. Similarly, some online stores might limit product availability based on shipping locations. While frustrating, geo-blocking is a common practice in the digital age, shaping our access to online content and services. Not all access denials are intentional roadblocks. Sometimes they're the result of technical hiccups on the website's end. Server issues, maintenance downtime, or even simple coding errors can temporarily render a website inaccessible. Think of it like a shop temporarily closed for renovations. The website is still there, but it's undergoing some behind-the-scenes work before it can welcome visitors again. In these cases, patience is key. Checking back later or contacting the website administrator can help determine the cause of the issue. Just like physical buildings have security measures, such as security guards and checkpoints to protect against unauthorized access, websites employ digital guardians to keep their data and users safe. These digital guardians are crucial in the modern age where cyber threats are ever evolving. Firewalls act as virtual gatekeepers, standing at the forefront of a network's defense system. They monitor incoming and outgoing network traffic for suspicious activity, analyzing data packets to ensure they don't pose a threat. They're programmed to block access from IP addresses or networks known for malicious behavior, effectively preventing unauthorized access attempts. Acting as a first line of defense against cyber attacks, firewalls are essential in protecting sensitive information and maintaining network integrity. Security protocols like HTTPS encrypt data transmitted between your browser and the website, ensuring that any information exchanged is secure and cannot be intercepted by malicious actors. This encryption safeguards sensitive information like passwords and credit card details, making online transactions and communications much safer. These measures, while sometimes leading to temporary access restrictions, are designed to protect users from potential threats and ensure the integrity of the data. They are essential for maintaining a secure online environment where users can feel confident that their personal information is protected. In addition to firewalls and HTTPS, other security protocols like SSL TLS, VPNs, and multi-factor authentication play significant roles in enhancing cybersecurity. 
SSL TLS protocols provide an additional layer of encryption, ensuring that data remains confidential and tamper-proof during transmission. VPNs, or virtual private networks, create secure connections over the internet, masking users' IP addresses and encrypting their online activities. Multi-factor authentication adds an extra step to the login process, requiring users to verify their identity through multiple methods such as a password and a code sent to their phone. This significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access. Regular cybersecurity training and awareness programs are also vital. Educating users about the importance of strong passwords, recognizing phishing attempts, and following best practices can greatly enhance overall security. By combining these various security measures, organizations can create a robust defense system that protects against a wide range of cyber threats. This comprehensive approach ensures that both data and users remain safe in an increasingly digital world. Section 5. Shields Up – The Importance of Online Security and Privacy In an increasingly interconnected world, protecting your online security and privacy is paramount. Think of it like locking your front door. You wouldn't leave it wide open for anyone to enter. Strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and being wary of phishing attempts are crucial steps in safeguarding your digital footprint. Being mindful of the information you share online and understanding privacy settings on social media platforms are equally important. Section 6. The Double-Edged Sword of Network Restrictions While network restrictions, like those imposed by firewalls, play a vital role in online security, they are designed to protect sensitive information and prevent unauthorized access. Firewalls act as a barrier between trusted and untrusted networks, ensuring that only legitimate traffic is allowed through. However, these same restrictions can sometimes limit access to information that could be beneficial or necessary. For instance, employees might find themselves unable to access certain websites that could aid in their work, leading to frustration and decreased productivity. Schools and workplaces, for instance, often implement content filters to prevent access to inappropriate or distracting websites. These filters are meant to create a safe and focused environment, free from harmful or irrelevant content. While these restrictions are often implemented with good intentions, aiming to protect users and maintain productivity, they can sometimes have unintended consequences. They can inadvertently block access to valuable educational resources, hindering students' ability to conduct research or complete assignments. Researchers might find themselves unable to access important academic journals or databases, slowing down their work and progress. Additionally, these restrictions can limit exposure to diverse viewpoints, which is crucial for fostering critical thinking and innovation. In a world where information is power, having access to a wide range of perspectives is essential. Finding the right balance between security and open access remains an ongoing challenge in the digital age. Organizations must continuously evaluate their network policies to ensure they are not overly restrictive while still providing adequate protection. This delicate balance requires constant vigilance and adaptation to the ever-evolving digital landscape. Section 7. Digital Gatekeepers Organizations and their role in online security Organizations from businesses to government agencies play a crucial role in maintaining online security and privacy. They implement security protocols, educate employees about cyber threats, and invest in technologies to safeguard sensitive data. Internet service providers also play a part by monitoring network traffic for malicious activity and implementing security measures at a broader level. Their collective efforts contribute to a safer and more trustworthy online environment. Section 8. Striking a Balance Navigating Security and Open Access The digital world thrives on a delicate balance between security and open access. While security measures are essential for protecting users and data, overly restrictive measures can stifle innovation and limit access to information. Finding this equilibrium requires ongoing dialogue between policymakers, tech companies, and users. It's about creating an online environment where security is not a barrier to exploration, but rather a foundation for a thriving digital ecosystem. Section 9. Staying safe in a connected world. Navigating the online world safely and responsibly is an ongoing journey. Staying informed about potential threats, practicing good cyber hygiene, 
and advocating for balanced security measures are all part of being a responsible digital citizen. By working together, we can create a digital world that is both secure and accessible for all.